Today we'll be investigating how spices affect bacterial growth. The first step is to make sure you wash your hands and then wipe down your bench with 70% ethanol. You will start with the materials from tray 1. The first step is to label the agar plate. Your plate has two sides, the bottom side containing the agar and the lid. You want to label the bottom side. With the lid side down, Divide the plate into four approximately equal sized areas using a ruler and sharpie. Using small writing, label the center of each section with the test substance you'll be using. For this experiment, you will have NEG for negative control, in this case sterile water, STR for streptomycin, your positive control, GAR1 for garlic concentration 1, and GAR2 for garlic concentration 2. You also need to write your practical number and your name on the underside of the plate. Keep these labels small and around the outer edge of the plate. Label the tubes GAR1 and GAR2. The next step is to measure and grind your spices. Add garlic powder up to the 1 milliliter mark on the tube. Transfer all of your spice to the mortar. Grind for 10 to 20 seconds. Add 2 milliliters of sterilized water using a sterile plastic pipette. Grind for 10 to 20 seconds. Add an additional 2 milliliters of sterile water. Grind for another 10 to 20 seconds. This is your stock solution of garlic. Using a clean plastic pipette, transfer 1.5 milliliters of spice suspension to the tube labeled GAR1. Take 0.5 milliliters of spice suspension from the GAR1 tube and transfer to the GAR2 tube. Using a clean plastic transfer pipette, add 0.5 milliliters of sterile water to the tube labeled GARD2 to make a 1 in 2 dilution. Mix the GARD2 solution well. GARD2 is now half the concentration of GAR1. Step 3 in the procedure uses the materials on tray 2. Remember to maintain a good working distance from the flame and the materials. You will also need the agar plates that were labeled in step 1 of the procedure. Place the metal spreader in the beaker containing 95% ethanol. Remove the cap from the burner, light a match, and then use it to light the burner. Pick up your micro pipette and make sure that it is set to 100. Lift the lid on the tip box. Put the pipette in a tip and push firmly to ensure a proper seal. Resuspend your E. coli bacteria by gently flicking the tube. Remove the cap, push the pipette plunger down to the first stop, put the tip into the solution and slowly release the plunger to pick up the liquid. Lift the lid, put your tip near the center of the plate, then push the plunger down to expel the bacteria. 
Discard the tip in the waste container and then put your pipette back in the rack. To spread your bacteria, lift the plate lid and allow the metal spreader to just touch the surface of the agar. Spread the bacteria suspension evenly over the entire surface. Once you're done spreading your bacteria, dip the metal spreader into the 95% ethanol, pass it through the flame and wait for the ethanol to burn off. Cover the 95% ethanol and extinguish the flame by covering it with a cap. Return the spreader to the tray. For step 4, we will be working with the materials from tray 3. You will also need the previously prepared garlic treatments and the agar plates containing the bacteria. You are now ready to plate your treatment discs onto the bacteria lawn. The first step is lighting your burner. The next step is to sterilize your forceps. Dip the forceps in the 95% ethanol, briefly pass it through the flame, and then allow the ethanol to burn off. Pick up a blank disc with the forceps and hold it in the sterile water, leaving it for approximately 10 seconds. This will be your negative control disc. Lift the lid of your plate, place the disc in the center of the negative control section of your plate, and then close the lid. Repeat the same technique for each treatment disc, tapping each tube before inserting the disc to make sure it is well mixed and remembering to sterilize your forceps between each treatment. Remember, once you put a disc on the plate, do not move it, even if it is not perfectly centered. This will avoid possible cross-contamination or errors in your results. For the positive control, pick up the streptomycin disc and place it in the center of the streptomycin section. Once all of the discs have been placed on the plates, dip the forceps into the 95% ethanol, pass it through the flame, wait for the ethanol to burn off, and return the forceps to the tray. Cover the 95% ethanol and extinguish the flame by covering it with the cap. You can now use a small piece of tape on each side of the plate to ensure the lid is secure. Combine all of the plates from your group and secure them together with more tape. The sealed plates will now be placed in the 37 degree incubator overnight to allow the bacteria to grow.